back to my YouTube channel. My name is Varysa Lynn. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel again. If it's if you're watching it again, if you're new, hi. Today's video, I thought it'd be a really good idea to actually talk about my course, which is journalism. The reason why is that I made a TikTok a year ago and it was just like me going to uni and it got like a bit of views because I go to UAL. Literally after that, so many people message me on like a day-to-day -day basis. Like I get so many messages. Oh, I saw your TikTok. Can you explain about, you know, your course and da 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 So like, you know what? Yeah, let me sit down and do this video. I should have done it like in September times, but I know so many people will probably be applying for uni and stuff. I think UCAS, I don't know, man. Um... I'm grown, I'm a grown woman. I'm not that grown. When I done UCAS, I think like the submission deadlines were December. So yeah, and plus you never know. You can always like maybe clearing or something. So I'm literally just gonna go through like the messages that people send me. I'm gonna look at the comments of this video and I'm just going to give you an insight into studying journalism. Let me actually do a best art introduction. I'm 21 years old and I studied journalism at UAL, University Arts London, LCC campus. And my course is three years and I specialize in audiovisual journalism. Obviously, like I said, I'm in third year. Uh, in first year, we basically learned all the basics. So I got to do print and online. I got to like film stuff. I got to do podcasts. I got to basically dip my toes in a lot of the things. And they told us at the end of the year that you would have to pick what you want to specialize in because me i'm a chatty party and i speak all the damn time i was like i want to go into audiovisual. So i get confused with the pathways and modules that like, i don't know all i know is that they said to you choose print and online or audio and visual i was like obviously my s is going to audio visual and even within that i think another module was to choose lifestyle journalism or social justice journalism and i chose lifestyle so we were like analyzing mag magazines and stuff like that i really did enjoy it because like they say it's a new course so it only came out like two years ago or something and it is so good it has opened up like so many opportunities for me like not even just like, oh here's this here's that it just builds your confidence Honestly, even, even if you don't want to study journalism, I feel like you should utilise just going to uni. As soon as you say, I'm a uni student, like, so many times for my courses, I have to interview someone. And if you say I'm a journalist, they're like, mm, I don't really want to chat to you. I'm a student journalist. Oh, okay, let me chat to you. Because people love to hear the sound of their own voice. Evident, evidently, people love to hear the sound of their own voice. Originally, I was doing media. But then I got to my class and I was like, I don't want to be here. All these people want to be filmmakers. I don't want to be filmmakers. I want to be in the films. I want to be on the red carpet. So I want to be doing, hi guys. But I was like, I'm clearly doing the wrong course. But I messaged some girl that I was following. Hi, Carrington. She basically said what she was doing in her course. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do that. So I switched. Originally, I didn't want to do journalism because I thought to myself, all my days, I'm literally just going to be doing books and writing and newspaper and I don't want to be that. Like, we're in a new age, digital media, I want to be talking somewhere with a mic. It's, you know, I'm with this person, why did you do that? You know, that's what, that's my vibe. I'm trying to be on MTV Catfish, not Daily Mail, Molly Bay, done this, do you know what I mean? I don't want to be that. To an extent, to an extent I do, to an extent I don't. That's why I was so skeptical, I was like, I don't want to do journalism. I don't know for every uni, but I'm just going to speak for my uni. They are very, very versatile and they understand that times are changing. As, as much as people want to say, oh yeah, like, doing a course like journalism, like, print is dead, this isn't that. I'm like, but baby, like, journalism as a whole is changing, like, it's advancing. Even I remember we done a, um, an essay, the essay was like, oh, the changing forms of journalism, talking about, you know, where this stem from, what counts as it, and I was like, wow, like, wow, oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Because it's true, it's like, when you actually choose a course that you like, you will enjoy it so much more. Like I looked forward to doing those essays. I remember in first year we had our own blogs and every week we would learn a different style of writing. So feature articles, you know, um, I, I don't do print and online anymore, so I'm forgetting, but like feature articles, um, like, I don't know, like lifestyle writing and we would post it on our blogs with pictures and stuff. We've literally done that. And then in the second, I think, term, we were learning how to make podcasts and we would watch podcasts and lessons. And I'm just like, this is very modern and it's very much what people are interested in nowadays, which is why I was like, this course 
Chef's kiss, amazing, I love it. And um, the lectures make it so much better. Like, I don't know where everyone's gonna go, but if you go to UAL, Rebecca is your best friend. I love Rebecca. Like, also follow me on TikTok. I have a little section here called journalism, just in case. Oh, why is it focusing? Focus. Ah! Cool, journalism. Oh, whatever, it's not showing. Uh, I was looking at this uni, what course specifically in journalism do you study and would you recommend? I would highly recommend it, I think like I just said, it's especially my course in my uni, like it's very much modern, like it's not like we're learning <gasps> Oh my gosh! It caters to both demographics, let me say that, it caters to traditional journalism and modern journalism, so I would 110% recommend it Where do you study? Um, University of the Arts London A lot of these are about my outfit as well, how funny so someone asked me what A-levels did you do? Um, I done sociology, oh my gosh this is a lifetime ago, I'm, I can't remember what I did. Sociology, government and politics, oh. sociology, government and politics and media. I can't remember when I was in my UCAS years ago, I don't think they specifically they said but it's good to have some form of like either a media, either a like journalism, an English, uh, a politics but like A-levels I, I don't think they're that important unless you, unless you're gonna be a doctor or a lawyer or you know what you want to do I don't think A-levels are important but that's a different that's a different thing any tips for getting onto the course so I applied through clearing which is really really funny I didn't even want to go to uni but then I read this uni I was like oh my gosh it's got everything I want why am I not going to this uni yeah the only tips I would say go in like be open-minded like don't limit yourself because like i'm saying i want to pursue audio and visual journalism but i'm actually growing and i'm actually like wanting to do more writing so don't think oh like, this is the only thing i want to do i don't want to do this like, be open is it okay if i do business and health and social care but i want to go into journalism like i said i think journalism is very broad there's always a branch that like, you could be doing health and social care and want to get into i don't know like is medical journalism a thing? I don't know, but like, I'm trying to say that there's your niche. There's always your niche. It's not like, it's not like you're studying maths, okay? Like maths, you need to know numbers. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You're doing journalism. I screenshot them, I did. I was prepared, I screenshot them on my phone, but then I've lost them. I feel so silly. Do you have any advice or recommendations as to what to get for uni? A lot of people ask me this as well. I got a MacBook for uni because number one, I do journalism. Number two, my laptop was broke down and busted. You don't need a MacBook, but I think even on the course they said just have a good quality laptop because you actually have to learn how to use Adobe and editing and all of these things, they'll teach you. So it is important to have a good quality laptop. I would recommend a MacBook or even a tablet because with tablets you can use a pen, you can even buy like a little pad to like turn it into a laptop, but it's really helpful for when you're writing essays and things. Oh my days, people message me all the time. Let me hide her name, but like literally paragraphs people messaging me like, can you explain like your course? I'm like, okay guys. Oh, people are so cute because she was actually like, I don't want to be annoying. Oh, this is so cute. I'm sorry, I'm re actually reading them. I'm like, I can't believe people message me. So, all the questions that people are asking me are pretty much the same type of questions. Like, do you have any advice? Do you have any opinions? This, this, and that. Is it diverse? My course is very diverse. It's really diverse. It's mostly girls, but like, it's really, really, it's really good. Like, the lecturers are very diverse. We have what opportunities and stuff you can do with it. I think with journalism and just with anything you want to do in life, especially if you're doing like an a subject like the art I think it's important to do something for yourself as well so if you want to do like journalism and you want to be a writer start your own blog you know like start writing for yourself and then apply those skills because like for me I do journalism and I had a YouTube channel because I'm like well I want to you know get into this I want to get into this field so it's important for me to kind of show people like hey look like I don't just walk walk I also talk talk and like I it was transferable skills so like they, they were teaching us how to edit on Adobe and stuff and it's like wait like b-reels and all these things I didn't know that I can add to my YouTube channel learning how to edit on these softwares like it's so good to utilize what you have and like they have like a kit room you can rent it out so if you might not have the actual facilities to you know you don't have a camera or whatnot you can actually rent it out from your uni take it for a week do your videos give it back like it's so many opportunities and one thing i really really like about my uni is that like ual i think is a big brand there's my one but there's also london college of fashion there's camberbell which is like i think 
arts, fine arts, design, fashion as well. It's the King's Cross campus. So there's so many campuses and everyone is is like in the same boat that you are. They want to get somewhere. You can make so many friends and networks. Like you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm just going uni, whatever. Guys, utilize your uni. You are making the friends who will be on the award shows, who will be the next producers, who will be the next a, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's like, be nice to everyone. Like, I see this all the time and I'm a big advocate. Be nice to everyone. Like, speak to everyone. That's an advice I can give you. Like, regardless if you're a chatty person or not, just be nice to everyone. Always, how you doing? Because you don't know who this person could be. Especially when you go to uni and study something like journalism or an artistic course. So, we had this um, module or something but we basically had to have fine work experience for our course and I actually was able to do work experience at OK Magazine. It was online but I was able to do it from them. They were so lovely and um, Glamour Magazine and I actually even went into like the House of Vogue for a day to just see what they were doing. It was during lockdown so I was really really thankful that I was even allowed to go in but like I couldn't have done that if that wasn't for this uni like they revamped my cv every opportunity i get now it's literally because i paid attention and i was really engaged i can't lie to you i think i told you everything that i can um i don't have anything else to say but yeah if you are thinking of studying journalism would i recommend yes i would recommend 110 percent i would recommend journalism if you are really engaged because there's no point to going into a subject that is so niche and not wanting to pursue something about it like if you studied english you can get into journalism you can get to so many things and you get to study english if you, get, if you do journalism of course you can do whatever you want but it's like your degree is specifically in this avenue do you understand what i'm trying to say 100 do it if you're just lost maybe don't study journalism because you'll you'll only come out of a journalism degree that's what i'm trying to say basically yes I would recommend 1010 especially at ual love my uni like I'm so sorry, I'm a rad dad. I'm a I'm a deaf beat and alumni. Even when I'm hosting Love Island, I'ma come back like I love my uni. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope I was informative. I hope I gave you guys what you wanted. I hope I wasn't talking too much with my hands. But yeah, um if you guys have any more questions, you can always DM me if you want me to explain anything else, just let me know. But thank you, uh subscribe and I'll see you next week. Cause I'm consistent. <laughs> okay, bye.